Good morning. Welcome back. It is 622 and it's time now for KITV4's Social Wire. It's our new segment that we do twice each morning to check out what's buzzing on KITV.com and on our KITV4 Facebook and Twitter pages. Yesmeen Dar joins us now live with the Social Wire. And Yesmeen, what are people chatting about? Well, Dana Mahia, the hot topic from yesterday was, of course, the iPhone 4. Now, the AT&T store has sold out of its iPhone 4 pre-order supply. And for many, pre-ordering online has been a huge pain on Facebook. Dwayne DeGray says, I've tried both the Apple and AT&T sites repeatedly. I get as far as being able to enter my phone number to log in for eligibility, and then it would freeze upon submitting. On Facebook as well, Sherry Goldberg says, I was having a rough time for hours trying to pre-order my iPhone 4 online, so I decided to see if the Apple had their own app. Sure enough, they had a free app. I downloaded it, and within two minutes, I had my iPhone 4 pre-ordered at the store of my choice. Now, Apple has officially apologized for the pre-order problems. The company has said there were 600,000 orders for the iPhone 4, the most ever in one day. People are also making noise about those horns that fans are using at the World Cup soccer matches in South Africa. That buzzing sound seems like it's coming from your TV, and British television has gotten hundreds of complaints. Some people on the wire says these vuvuzelas are a part of the local culture, but others say they should be banned. Now, if you want to join in on the conversation, just log on to KITV.com, our Facebook page, or tweet us at KITV4. That's a look at what's buzzing on KITV4's social wire. Uh, and oh, What's buzzing in your iPhone there? <laughs> That's right. I have an Apple application for the Vuvuzela. Check this out. <laughs> That's right, I people. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, if you want to annoy your significant other. Well, ah! I, uh, I actually don't need help with that, but I appreciate the <laughs> suggestion, Yasmeen. 